What's up guys, this is Eddie, welcome to a new video, Celestial DPS, let's go. Alright, first thing first, Celestial DPS is amazing, I've been using it for over like 2 weeks now. It is actually really good. This is the only single target power which was actually able to keep up with Gadget's single target. And you know Gadget's is flavor of the month right now. It's really, really awesome. But this is amazing too. So let's look at the gear and mods and everything. I am 342 CR right now. Might is 100, 1527. And looking at the gear mods, we are using Blast Adopter 5, Supercharged New Man and Boost 3 for head, Escalating Might 5 for neck, Accelerated Divine Light for back, Penetrating Strikes for chest, Restorative Retribution for legs, Maximum Damage for hands, Dashing Combos for feet. Dashing Combo is your super base gear mod, so if you're not super speed, don't worry about it. You can use Explosive Block or a Deadly Block, whatever. And I'll be telling you a different kind of loadout for if you're not super speed. So, for artifacts, we are using the typical four artifacts transformation card, strategist card, and solar amplifier with Grimorium for the range and melee loadouts. So, transformation card it gives you 20% critical chance and 30% critical magnitude on attacks. So, this is really good. It will also give you 3% might and precision. While strategist card applies a tactical advantage on a target based on the type of ability you use for 8 seconds. Basically, it applies a damage over time. It also increases the proc chance of tactical advantage and also gives the potency of tactical advantage by 30%. It gives you 4% might and 4% precision. And solar amplifier, it basically amplifies your heat vision, turns it into an AoE damage as well and gives you 10% eye beam damage. Right now I'm 160, you can get it up to 200 but it's not necessary, 160 does fine. The only difference is you will get 4% extra health and also it installs an empowered channeling tactical mod which is not required that much to be honest. These are the artifacts, now let's look at the skill points allocation. So I'm using dual wheel, you can get all these if you want, some people say you get increased weapon damage, it says right here, but test it out, it doesn't matter to be honest. So if you want, you can still get all of these or whatever weapon you're using. Under super speed, get this, flight, acrobat, just get the first one. Under iconic powers, we're gonna get robot sidekick, new and boost, heat vision. Lasso is not necessary, I just like to use it sometimes for pure single target. And under stat points, we're gonna use super powered. We're gonna put everything in critical attack chance, critical attack damage, increases your critical ability attack damage and critical weapon attack chance. And then put everything in might and power since it's the might based loadout. Now, if you have extra skill points, you put everything in precision over here. So we are gonna be using precision weapon taps a little bit here and there, but since this is a combo based power, it is really hard to, you know, put in weapon taps in between using the powers so but still get everything here you can if you don't want to use weapon you can put everything in health but it's better to use weapon whenever you can so now let's look at the loadout all right so this is the loadout the first two powers are very similar to each other they are the opposite of each other so with celestial these are the combo powers so plague and divine light both are tap melee tap range hold melee tap melee tap range hold melee right so what happens is this one starts with a single target damage over time and goes into AoE damage. This one starts with AoE damage and goes into single target. So you pop this, do the combo. When you're holding melee, clip that with divine light, do the combo. When you hold melee, clip that with amplified heat vision. It will basically also do a damage over time and it's also an AoE power. Let the whole animation finish and then you pop the finisher. This is Defile, it's a finisher power. If enemies are below 35% health, you will get additional damage, but overall it also does good damage, so it's good. Number five is Robot Sidekick. It's basically a pet damage while you're doing all this, you will need it. Uh, new Venom Boost, it's a supercharge, increases your damage output for a short time. Now, the reason we are using New Venom Boost is because Celestial Supercharges are mostly based on healing. So, this is a shield, this is also a shield, and you know, it just, New Venom is way better. You just pop it and keep doing your loadout. So, now let's go take a look at numbers on Spine Target.
So 79k, 74k, some 65k's, it's basically really really good and I have lag, I have some delay, so I don't, I can't achieve, you know, high numbers. My friend been using the same account, my account, and he actually got to 80k's with this. These numbers are basically above 35%, so if you look at below 35%, I have been hitting 87k's constantly. And my friend used my account, again, he hit 93k, 94k with my account, my loadout, my specs and everything so special single target amazing really good i really enjoyed it now let's move on to range aoe all right for range aoe everything is same only difference is i have replaced solar amplifier with grimorium grimorium is gonna be your pet it's gonna be doing the damage it's gonna be fighting by your side and it's gonna be doing additional damage and the best thing about Grimorium is it applies the power interaction. As you can see on the screen, Slash Chill, it purifies the enemy. So it implies the power interaction. Everything is same. The only thing difference is uh, we changed this. So my might is a little bit lower than before. It's 100,223. So now let's look at the loadout. The loadout, same as before. We're going to start with this. We're going to go into Divine Light. But this time we're only gonna do the combo for Plague, we're not gonna do combo for Divine Light. So we're only gonna be using it for AoE. So single target to AoE, tap melee, tap range, hold melee basically. Single target to AoE and then go into Divine Light AoE. Don't do the combo, go into Admonish instead. Admonish is also your damage over time but it's, the first tick is a burst damage so it does like 50Ks, 80Ks really good damage this is kind of a mid-range power so you have to be uh you have to place yourself accordingly but works really good number four is retribution so tap melee tap range it basically is a burst damage it also leaves an aura on your target dealing damage to nearby enemies so aoe damage it's not as good as it used to be you can try using smite or you can try using sacred light but Retribution is quicker, it works with the rotation. If you use Sacred Light, you'll be stuck there for like 6 seconds, everything will be on cooldown and you'll be just standing there. So you have to use Retribution. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna pop Plague, do the combo, clip it with Divine Light, do not do the combo, clip it with Admonish and do the combo and then do this 3 times and everything will be back to cooldown and then you go 1, 2, 3, 4 again. Same as before, Robert Sidekick and you win a boost for your supercharge. So now let's quickly go and take a look at the numbers. Okay, so we have 112k, we have some 108, 109k and averaging about 108, 105k. So this is not as good as other range powers like electricity is really good with range. As I said before, not every power is similar. Some powers are good with single targets, some powers are good with AoE, some powers are good with melee. So this power is good, really good with single target, kind of good with uh, melee but okay with range. So this is the slash chill range AOE loadout. Now let's go and take a look at melee. All right, so for melee, same thing, 342, same might, same artifacts with Grimorium. Only thing difference is I'm using rifle. You can use anything you want. I just like to clip rifle grenade. Sometimes uh, I should have actually used rifle grenade for my range. I will change it in a bit. So uh, everything is same, quickly looking at the skill points, rifle, same, one thing in there. Super speed, go all the way down and get whirling dervish. If you are not super speed, forget about it. Just get the speed, uh, flight and acrobat. Then iconic powers, you don't need heat vision. Uh, just use new and boost and robot sidekick and for stat points we're gonna go same as before Superpower, might and power critical attack change critical attack damage same 
same old same old so now quickly looking at the loadout first one is gonna be divine light it purifies the enemy since we're already using grimorium so no power injection required do not use the combo only use the aoe damage so that's all we need 12 seconds cooldown so quickly do this go to consume soul do the combo go to wrath of presence do the combo these are burst powers so basically these are opposite of each other consume soul and wrath this one goes single target to aoe this one go aoe to kind of single target it pulls them towards you so when you do this it's gonna be a burst damage and then it applies power of time and this one damage over time and then do a burst damage so aoe single target to aoe aoe just dot basically and then we go for whirling dervish spins you like a maniac and that's when the that feet mod is gonna come in handy so you spin and you tap melee it goes forward that's what this mod was for dashing combos so now if you're not super speed you go with admonish where is it where is it there is it so you go divine light consume soul combo wrath of presence combo and go with admonish combo and then you go back works really good actually does more damage on sparring target uh than whirling dervish but the difference is whirling dervish is burst basically quick damage admonish is burst but it applies over time and it's a combo power so you are slower compared to whirling dervish and when it comes to melee it's all about doing quick damage like who reaches there first who attacks the enemies first and who attacks the enemies really really quick does more damage does quick damage so that's why whirling dervish is a preference but if you're not you can use this now let's go look at the sparring target and look at the loadout both of them you can see the difference So you can see 124k, uh, 110, 112, basically around that. It doesn't show much on the spying targets, but trust me, it's really quick in the raids. And if you do it properly, you are going to do great damage. Now let's go to spying targets again and quickly take a look with Admonish instead of Whirling Dervish. So as you can see 131k compared to you know other one 124 121 whatever the, whatever that was so 131k 118k 112 was kind of same but it still does more damage on spying targets but it will be slower in the race but it's up to you if you're not if you don't want to be super speed go with admonish so this is basically it with the celestial i really like it i hope you like it it does great damage it does Mm, the single target is amazing and always please kindly read the pinned comment people don't read the pinned comment and then ask the same question again and again in the comment section please read the pinned comment and then if you have any other questions do let me know in the comment section below and i'll definitely get back to you so this concludes the video and i'll see you next time